Hello everyone, good morning and good afternoon, whatever you are. Welcome to join ICON uh, um, virtual meetup. Today my topic is uh, ICON new platform enabling. It's covered by three parts. Part one is about um, configurations of ICON. Part two is the basic uh, information of ICON config tools. I think um, uh, part one and part two were also in introduced in last uh, section by Nani, so I will go through them quickly uh, and focus the, the, in the part three in this section. It's about uh, how to use uh, computer tools to enable a new platform. Uh, as you know, uh, not like uh, KVM, Icon is a uh, type one hybrider. That means you need a customized icon uh, for your board. Uh, a lot of uh, icon use uh, ask us how to enable icon on new platform. The, the simple answer is generated uh, configurations for your new board. Uh, the configurations include the uh, following three uh, type, uh, board configurations, uh, scenario configurations, and the launch configuration. Here's uh, more uh, information uh, about the uh, configurations. So I, I skipped it since it was talked in the uh, last section. Uh, the most important thing is about uh, the icon coming to the architecture is under refinement. Uh, but uh, whatever change on, on coming to the architecture, the working model is the same. So I will start from the icon release 2.4. Uh, here is the coming to the source code, including the following folder. And here is the working flow of um, coming tools. Uh, and then that side, the step one is the get the border info. And the output is uh, board SML, and it's the input of step, uh, step two, uh, customer per needs to generate your uh, scenario SML and the launch SML. And step three, I use the generated board SML and the SML to build icon. And step four is using ban uh, the build binary to deploy uh, icon. Uh, as you know, uh, step one and step four, on target machine because there is no other choice. But uh, it's not true for step uh, two and three. It's depending on the performance of your target board. You can run step three and four on your target. Uh, if your target board performance is good enough, but uh, host machine is preferred for step two and three in case uh, the performance of your target board is good enough. Uh, Icon Configure Configuration APP uh, is a web um, UI based on the fly, uh, FLASIC. Uh, we'll uh, take uh, it more later. Uh, here's an example about uh, uh, all uh, XML for one platform. It's uh, board XML, scenario XML, and uh, launch XML. Uh, here is the uh, configuration SML uh, format uh, in, in scenario SML board. Uh, in, and uh, include the, sorry, maybe uh, it's quick, too quick. Uh, here's an example of uh, an industry SML. Okay, uh, let's uh, go to detail of the common tools. First, uh, you, uh, you need to get the board, board uh, information. Uh, you need to set up the native uh, uh, OS on target. And make sure the VMS uh, which, uh, which D was enabled and the secret boot was disabled in your bias. And the one two eighteen dot uh, therefore is verified. 
and uh, install the required uh, the, the tools and also update the current command line in Gabra menu. Then you, you copy the, uh, the icon code, the target code to target board and then run the, uh, the, the board parts of the, the, the PY, dot PY by the Python 3. In this example, we use the, the tech, uh, tech knock, uh, for example. After you run this, you can get the, the uh, Telic NAC uh, uh, XML and the uh, out folder. And this board XML uh, includes uh, some physical platform inform information like the ACAPI, memory size, and CPU info. It will be used by a control. And step two, uh, it uh, launch the configure APG. First, the install is required uh, required tools, and then run the the APG dot PY. Uh, the, the 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 this application I need to run locally with the desktop machine. Then uh, you uh, you need to uh, uh, load the the border uh, info. It's uh, just generated in the last uh, uh, steps. After you uh, load the border XML, you can uh, see the border info, the best info, and the the, the border info. Then you load the default uh, uh, scenario XML. The the four uh, scenario can be selected. We, we, we're using the interface, for example. Uh, there are lots of uh, items for the scenario XML. If you're not very familiar with the items, please uh, keep the default value. But uh, except for, uh, except for uh, three items, first one is about the service counter. But the default one not set any value. So you, you need to change to uh, DV, uh, DTY uh, S0. Uh, otherwise, you cannot switch to VM console from the hybrid console. Uh, this issue is fixed in the master branch, but not for the release to the fall. Uh, another is about uh, the hybrid RAM size. Uh, depends on the, your boss version, you may uh, get grab complaint out of memory issue uh, for the default value. Uh, please change it to uh, 860. This issue also fixed in the in the mass branch. And uh, the 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 three the three. Uh, the third, the third issue is about the, the SOS RAM, RAM size. Uh, it depends on uh, how much memory on your board. The default value is fine if your um, memory size is uh, less than uh, 16 giga. But if, uh, if, you, it's, uh, if your memory size is, is large than, than that, you may get this, uh, this uh, error. You cannot uh, switch to SOS. It's, uh, SOS is in its status. There are two options for this, for this issue. Uh, one workaround is add the uh, no K SLR kernel command line in SOS kernel. Uh, and another, another, another. Uh, is about change the multiple value, change it to the bigger one, change it from four to eight. Uh, it, it will uh, support the, the memory up to uh, 32 giga. It is depending on your memory size. So uh, the seventh step is about generate the launch script. 
uh, if you want to launch the post launch VM, you, you need to uh, generate it. If you just want to try icon and SOS, you can uh, skip it step. Then uh, you uh, make a uh, hybrid using your, your generated uh, board SML and the scenario SML. Uh, step nine is about uh, uh, deploy icon on your tight board. Uh, I mean, copy the icon binary, uh, icon dot bin, and icon uh, have in DM, and copy service kernel and image and module to target, and install or update the as a version. And the last step is uh, copy the launch script and the OMAP dot FD to your uh, service VM. And the, as you know, we we, you, we use the OMF FD to launch a post uh, VM. If uh, you are not uh, very clear or not uh, very familiar with the uh, the icon deploy, uh, please refer the GST for for detail. So uh, just as uh, I said uh, at the beginning, icon compare tool refine is uh, still uh, ongoing. And another important uh, is about uh, icon uh, their port for debug efficiency. And please refer this uh, this this uh, doc to to enable uh, icon hybrid. Uh, if your code branch is, is not uh, new, then release two thousand four. You need the offline patch. You can also refer this doc for for detail about the component tools. Okay, a summary is about uh, uh, the, the 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 topic on um, talked. Uh, we, we talked on the on the session using the component tool to generate a board XML, scenario XML, launch XML, and also talk about uh, how to. Uh, you enable the have the console <coughs> a tool a tool <coughs> option option one is with the internal uh, serial header if uh, your board don't have the internal serial port a uh, serial header uh, you can using the option tool using the PCIe serial port to enable the have a serial port okay any comments or questions? Thank you, Fujong. Is there any question regarding the, the tool and the, the different steps described by Fujong on how to enable ACON on a different board? One note perhaps that I would like to add to this is the um, in the development steps, uh, when we configure ACON for different board, we typically just uh, make a distinction between a development system and then a target system. We are short on details in our documentation as to exactly how you, you basically build ACON on a development machine and then transfer all of the build artifacts over to the target board. So it is a known gap. It's something that we want to address, but it's not, uh, even if you look through the, the getting started guide, it's not always clearly detailed. So I think the basics that Fujon mentioned, uh, transferring the, the kernel, the modules, the, the hypervisor binary, the, the device model, these are uh, obviously necessaries. Installing some tools, it's basically IASL, but there are also a, a few more small things to be done on the networking side, for example, on a target board. And so we don't detail that. It, it's not extremely hard or, or really rocket science, but it's not well documented. So be aware that if you struggle with any of that, by building ACON on the systems and having trouble transferring that and running that correctly on the on a target system, just uh, it's not you. It's the documentation that's lagging a bit, so don't hesitate to to ask for help. And uh, and it's part of our plan to over time just uh, address that gap in our documentation. But we just haven't gotten to it just yet. <clears throat> 